Plot to Data is a program with which you can extract data from any picture that you have that has a scale. What you do is you just drag and drop your picture inside this area. Here we have an AFM image with DNA filaments and we want to know how thick are they. And for example we don't have the AFM data because we copied the picture from a paper from a journal or we scanned it but we have the scale over here. So this is how we do. We press the letter A and uh, then we have to give the program two clicks. The first click is um, the top coordinate and the second click is this coordinate. So we go for example in the top corner for the first click and for the second click in the bottom right corner. And in this program you can do everything with the arrow keys. For example if the axis here is blinking then this is the active axis and if you press the arrow keys you can change everything. And if you press for example control then you can make smaller steps and if you press control and shift then you can make really tiny steps and adjust everything perfectly. And if you press um, if you go to axis and swap blinking axis then uh, the other one will blink and the other one will be active so you can adjust the other axis perfectly to what you need. So this was the first step to adjust the axis. The second step is to tell the program how large are these axes and so we know here this is one micrometer lateral and vertically also one micrometer. So we say start of the x-axis is zero and the end is 1000 nanometers and for y the same. Okay, now we say here clear everything and if we click now somewhere then it will give us the coordinates. For example if we click here then we see it is 108 from x and 509 nanometers from the y. And uh, at the bottom here I will show you what happens if you click two times. For example if you click here and here it tells you what is the mean between the x values and what's the mean between the y values and what's the mean length. So like this you can click on the thickness of this DNA filament from here to here, from here to here and um, then it calculates you the standard deviation. It tells you the length is 30 nanometers plus minus 1.6 nanometers and this is the standard deviation. Another example what I particularly use the plot to data for are SEM images where you just have the scale and later you want to know how big is something. So again you press A for to adjust the axis and you say the start is somewhere here and the end is somewhere here. And then you can with the arrow keys you can adjust the scale and you just know the X scale and you don't know the Y scale but you could say that um, that both of the axes should be same length. So you press F3 and this axis will be the same length. You cannot see the end here because the scale is so deep down. So now you can tell the program X end is one micrometer. And um, you can clear that and if you press two buttons over here then you see the length is 100 nanometers. And if you press here then you can actually know how large are these little nano gold particles that are attached to carbon nanotubes sitting on an AFM cantilever. So you see the mean diameter of those is 130 nanometers. And if you want to know how thick is this tiny carbon nanotube, it's 60 nanometers. It's really tiny. And this one together they are 55 plus minus 5 nanometers. Another good example of the program is the SEM mode. If you have a tilted sample like this one and you know that the tilt was 45 degrees then you can type in the tilt here 45 degrees and then you will have the tilt compensation and you can measure height properly. So if you measure from here to here then it will give you a y, mean y that is um, compensated. It's 1.2 micrometers and if you disable this mode and measure again then you will get a wrong value of much uh, a much too low value of below one micrometer okay so this is another very nice feature of the program I have a standard picture from a 
from uh, my PhD thesis actually. Uh, so I press A, I know this is a thousand, and then I press the second one here, I know this is 40. And actually, if I press F2, then I can adjust with my arrow keys. I go to with little steps with shift and control, I can adjust that one. I press F2 again, the other one is active now. So I adjusted it perfectly, and I say X goes from 0 to 40, and Y. Oh, hang on, we have to adjust Y again, so I press F2 again, so 0 is actually starts here. So I go to Y, starts from 0, and then I say 2, 4, 6, 8 to 1000. Okay, and now I can click on the values here, and I will get all the coordinates inside here. And if these X's are um, disturbing, or then I can just hide them. Okay, and now we can just go and click on the values and we will get all the coordinates of this graph easily. And if you actually want to use your arrow keys, you can do this as well with your just with the arrow keys. You just go around and if you press control you can get make small steps and control shift you can make either even smaller steps. And if you press space then you can transfer the data points easily. And then you can copy it to your clipboard and use it in Excel or whatever. And if you have an image with logarithmic scale, also that is possible, then you just type in the exponents. For example, for x you type in 1 and 3. And for y you type in 1 and 3 as well. And then you have to say it's log scale for both. And now if you click on the points, then you will get your log scale data over here. The picture that doesn't have a scale, but actually, in fact, it has, because I know how large the height and how large the width is. So I just press A, click on this one, click on that one, Oop, hang on. Then press F2 to activate the axis. Press another times F2 to activate the other axis because it's slightly out of. Okay, now it's perfect. And I know X starts from zero and um, the width is, let's say, five micrometers. And Y starts also from zero. And let's say the height is whatever, eight. Um, actually, it's, it's also five uh, micrometers. And uh, we don't have a log scale anymore. We clear this field and now we can go from this point to this point, from this point to this point, from this point to this point, and we see the length is 300 nanometers. So we know, okay, the wave inside this box here is uh, 300 nanometers. And if we do the same game here, then what we get actually the wave here is much greater, it's 500 nanometers. And of course you can drag and drop any picture, you just need some scale. For example, if you know that this thing over here is 40 meters long, then you just press A, the two buttons, and then you say X and Y are 40 meters, and you activate Y, because you know Y is 40 meters, and then you press F3 to make X um, as long as Y. So both axes now have 40 meters, and um, let's hide them for a bit. And if you click from here to here to know how long are these arms or these hands, then you see it's 16 meters. Or if you if you click from here to here, then the length is 16 meters. So you just need any scale and from this scale you can obtain all of the results. Of course you cannot measure the moon because it's too far away, it's not 15 meters long. Mm -hmm.